Welcome back. We'll revisit our top story today. Exporters in India have been crying foul ever since the GST rollout took place. The industry body claims that they have received refunds only for merchandise exports made in July. Not just that, exporters also say the refund for input tax credit, which accounts for bulk of the money that they are supposed to receive, has still not been paid at all. All this, the industry says, has led to a working capital hit of approximately 50,000 crore rupees. Ajay Sahai, the Director General and CEO of Federation of Indian Export Organization, joins in now. Uh, uh, Mr. Sahai, thank you for joining in. Uh, you have had a meeting with the Commerce Minister and the Finance Minister. What were the specific areas that you have pointed out? And I want to understand what the government has told you, what the Commerce Minister has told you on how they are going to rectify this issue. In fact, we had a meeting with the Commerce Minister where we mm. highlighted the concern of the export sector. The refund has started only in respect of IGST for the month of July. Yeah. The ITC refund for July has not started. And even for August, September, and October, the exporters have paid from their own pocket. Mm. And many of the small and medium sectors of exporters have approached us that they are not in a position to execute new order unless the refund is started flowing to them. So this is the basic issue which was flagged to Commerce Minister and Commerce Minister was kind enough to tell us that he will be immediately taking it with the Finance Minister. Mr. Sahai, we was there any clarity given by the Commerce Minister on why the delay had happened and why the refunds had not gone through? In fact, uh, the delays are mostly on account of uh, the fact that uh, GSTN has some problem. There are some linkage problem also between the GSTN and the ISK. That's why they have to take recourse to a manual method for the ITC refund. For the IGST refund, there are some technical flaws because the issues which are now being raised are not made very clear to the exporter. For example, in number of cases, the invoices are not matching because in the shipping yeah. bill, there is column of invoice where the exporter historically were providing the details of the commercial invoice. Okay. If the idea was to have the details of the GST and invoice, the particular field should have been modified accordingly. So have Second, these issues in terms of the glitches been sorted according to the Commerce Minister and what is being done by the government now? What's the step forward? In fact, I'm not sure that today they have a meeting of the Committee on Export which is headed by the Revenue Secretary and I'm sure the issue must have been deliberated there. We are just awaiting the response from the Ministry of Finance and the Ministry of Commerce on this issue. A any timeline as to when this is going to be uh, uh, taken up or by when the issues are going to be clarified, when when the export sector can come back to uh, you know regular functioning, uh, the, the right refunds can come in? Any in fact, timeline? Uh, we, in fact uh, we have highlighted that this is something which needs to be taken on a war footing and the good thing is that government is sensitive to our concern. They, they may yeah. be probably meeting tomorrow also to sort it out. Uh, it is uh, something which is on the top priority of the government. But uh, the but no timeline yet, Mr. Sahai, that no, has been given No, I have you. not received any timeline. You, you said exporters have paid from their own pocket, Mr. Sahai. A one-line answer on what the deficit has been as a result of that. No, in fact, the uh, point is that once you are looking into the deficit, uh, mm. We should not ignore the services sector. Keep in yeah. mind that on the services, there is 18% GST. And uh, the annual export of services is around $160 billion. So if we are talking about okay. five, four months for our services sector, yeah. the export of services will be around $50 billion. Okay. So if you take the services and goods together, and keep in mind that uh, IGST refund is just 15% yeah, of the total yeah. refund. Yeah. So we put the figure close to around 50,000 crore for the okay. four months. Time. Okay, Mr. Sahai, thank you so much for joining in. Uh, appreciate you joining in on this show. But with that, it's time to wrap up this uh, edition of India Business Hour Plus. Many thanks for watching. Good night.